Hello and welcome or welcome back to our chill Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play. Survival Let's Play, I should say. Uh, so in the last episode, we got a good lay of the land, at least in one direction from our starting point, gathered a whole bunch of supplies, and today I'm really excited to finally build our starter home. So it is a, where I am right now, it is a very cold and rainy June day, which is unfortunate, but makes me excited to be here. I want to build something nice and cozy and fun and uh, it's going to be good. So first order of business though, we actually did not decide exactly where we want to build yet. <laughs> so we have a whole bunch of our supplies. Oops, I keep doing that. Um, shift and then click. Uh, we have a whole bunch of supplies in this chest here. Um, so we'll have to slowly move those over. But um, first things first, I think, Pretty sure that's fine there, <laughs> just on its own. Um, I want to take another look around here and see where we might want to build. So we do want to be near these villages. Um, if you didn't watch the first episode, there is a village here and there is another one over there. You can see the rooftops there. Um, and we had spawned in right there. So perfect spawn point. <laughs> uh, not anything that I had expected, but um, it does mean that we need to find a good place to live that's going to be far enough away from the villages that they won't claim our bed, um, but close enough that we can, you know, come here for supplies and we can maybe build up these villages a little bit more and get the villagers that we want and, you know, maybe make a, the whole bunch of librarians so they can sell us all the good books and all that fun stuff. <laughs> So, um, I just wanted to hop up here to get a look around. This island is a little too small. Um, I was at first thinking this island could be a good little place, but uh, it's not bad. But I think we have to, we'd have to get way too close to that village. So I'm thinking maybe we should look at going back, back, back a little bit um, so that, you know, maybe we'll have to cross the water to get here, but we could build like a little bridge or something like that, either up there or maybe up there. I'm not exactly sure what it looks like. Our cherry blossom biome was up there, uh, which is a little closer to this village, uh, but I didn't really explore much up there. So I was also thinking maybe we can connect our base right to that if there's some flat area up there. So let's, uh, so I'm thinking maybe I'll take the actual boat through here and we can just kind of get a better look at what's attached to the water because it would be nice maybe if we could, you know, find a flat spot like this to build our base um, that's just attached to the water that's a little bit further from these villages. But we might just have to, I think we'll have to look around a little bit. And we had lost our bed last time, so I'm just going to unapologetically steal another bed from uh, one of these villagers. <laughs> sorry, but also not really sorry. They'll, uh, they'll figure it out. Ah, shoot, I didn't realize this doesn't go through. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna dig this through because I do not think if I, I don't think I can pick that up with everything in it. That doesn't, that wouldn't make sense. So, um, oh, maybe not an iron shovel though. There we go, that's better. That'll make it easier to uh, get kind of between these villages and out anyway. <laughs> maybe I'll just terraform where we need to. Why not? Okay, so this is the shore that attaches right to that other village. Um, so on this village's little sort of island outcrop thing also isn't really a good place for us. Um, it's, uh, there's just not enough, not enough room there. <laughs> so I do think, like, I, I mean, we don't have to be super close to the village, uh, by any means. I think if we're along the water here and it's just an easy boat ride over, that's also a good option. Um, the only thing is these are basically all cliffs, which means that, um, it would not be an easy way to get to the water. So I'm wondering, I know we kind of looked back here before, but I don't really remember um, if there was maybe a flat plains area back here that we could build on. It's all very hilly here. <laughs> uh, we're not going to get anything absolutely perfect, but it would be nice to have a fairly easy start to, uh, to build on. This is a nice area. We have some, already some bees over there. We've got some trees. The water, is that water? No, this is just a straight up ravine, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh, that's an interesting. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> We're not going down there. Um, all right, cute forest background. I don't hate that. Got a bunch of flowers up there. I also don't hate that. I think this is a contender. I, we would have to definitely flatten it out a bit. And then we would have to kind of, we would be playing a lot with the curves as we're building, which isn't a bad thing, but there is plenty of room here. You could have like, 
you know, a, some kind of farmland going up the hill over there, a good barn here. Um, we could even do a dock, a whole like dock build down there. If that's going to be our way kind of in and out more often. Um, you know, we could have our house right here overlooking the water and the weird waterfall. <laughs> and uh, a window out to the forest as well. Not a bad, not a bad idea. Um, I'll have to wrangle all these sheep in. <laughs> way too many sheep. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, this does give us a lot of opportunity. Uh, there's lots of room here. If we needed to expand, we could even put a bridge across and build it there, but that's quite a bit steeper up there. Um, let's just kind of continue through here. I don't know, this might connect back to the ocean. I can't remember um, if we had noticed last time exactly what it does. But it's not too steep here. It wouldn't be too difficult to just make a nice gradual incline um, to the water there either. Wait, what is happening here? What is this place? Is this back around to the back of that other village, or is this a totally new thing? Like, why is there smoke going up up there? <laughs> Maybe we are all the way back to the first village. Yeah, there's a... Oh no, wait! This is a totally new village. I think. Ah, oh, because that's definitely a different type of villager, right? We gotta go check that out. <laughs> oh, there's pillagers here too. Ooh, spooky spooky. All right. Let's uh, get our shield on just in case they spot us. I don't think they have yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I wanted to check out here, but I think... I mean, this also isn't a bad area, but there'd just be a lot of trees we'd have to take down. Um, it doesn't look really all that much better than the other area. For any particular reason. <coughs> okay, we might have to go right past those pillagers. Um... I really want to check out what's going on up there because that looks like a very sad, sad village situation. Um, but I don't know where those pillagers went. Oh, they're over there. Okay. I think we can maybe sneak by them. Oh no, he's right there. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I did not see that one there. Um, okay, I'm going to park the boat. I'm going to remember where it is because it's going to be in this little corner over here. Um, nice and hidden and safe because it's got all our supplies in it. <laughs> and I'm going to climb up to that, uh, climb all the way up to that village there. Yeah, like this is weird, right? Like this looks like the start of a village path. It was just built really strangely. Because <laughs> uh, that's what I was kind of noticing is on the, on the cliff side there, there's some stripped like grass. Which I, th I think the villages kind of like auto-generate with <clears throat> as pathways, but interesting. Whoa, okay. Okay, let's not look at the Endermen. Oh wow, this is a... Dangerous, dangerous village. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay. So there is a building we saw up there, but maybe I'll go down here first. And just see how these guys are doing. Yeah, this is like, um, they're wearing like the snowy. I guess this is kind of a taiga, like a tiny taiga biome. This village just happened to spawn in. <laughs> oh, they must be worse for wear holy oh god creepers and everything Ugh. okay yeah you guys are not in a very good situation here i don't think um I think these guys might be beyond saving <laughs> but we will loot their houses anyway yeah this is definitely just a very unfortunately placed uh village <laughs> comes all the way up here Unfortunately generated, I should say. Ooh, you got some good stuff though. Excuse me. You're pushing me around. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Um, <laughs> oh, they're being pillaged. They're right by a spooky cave. Oh, wait. Oh, there's some more taiga right here. Oh, wait. This is probably 
Now this is probably the taiga that we were in because we did not have to go very far. Right, I remember now. It is cool though. What a neat biome. So yeah, so it basically generated just on the outskirts of this taiga biome. <laughs> you can see their other houses down there. That's so weird. Huh. Well, that's too bad for them, but I mean, there's only so much that we can do here. <laughs> Other than uh, take a few other things and and uh, move on. I do want to take a little look though while we're up here. We're not gonna space all the way over here by any means. Um, I think I think that place over there might be our best bet. Uh, we'll maybe look a little bit more along the water, but I think being able to get to the other village by water is going to be the easiest way. I just want to take a look out and make sure that there's nothing else um, of note within view here. Yeah, so this looks like maybe even a mega taiga because those are some really tall trees, right? Those are like the four or six wide trees. That's pretty cool. Oh, and they do have um, a river that goes all the way through. That's neat. I mean, maybe we can build a new, um, a new village for them somewhere a little less unfortunate. <laughs> Actually put them in the taiga, maybe down there or something later on. Um, could be a fun, like, winter build if this series keeps going on for a while. But... That'll be... that's an idea for later, anyway. <laughs> I will put it on the list and we will see if we get that far. Um, let's see... Okay, those are some boulders... I'm not actually sure if there's anything else that you can, like, get inside of a taiga biome. Um, like any structures. I know there's the, like, woodland mansions, but I don't think they're in these forests. I think they're in a different type of forest. Um, or maybe I'm wrong. There is quite a bit that I, uh, <laughs> I need to, like, constantly look up with this game because I just, um, I do not keep all of that information very well. Ooh, there's a big spooky cave. The other thing I would love to find is moss, but I'm actually now thinking that um, it's gonna be hard to spot with this this pack that makes the grass all green. Um, but I, I do think we need to find it in those in that like underground biome, right? Okay, yeah, and it just backs onto a normal forest. It looks like. Some birch trees, got some oak trees. Oh, there's some tall ones. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I didn't know they um they grew that tall, but I guess they must. Yeah, this is all um I mean I guess this mountain in the way is kind of annoying, but I think we can get there from through there too. Um a little bit better. So it's good to know what's back here and what we can access easily by land, as well as what we can access by water. And it looks like we have a giant ravine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, pretty basic stuff, but that's all good. Just good to know where we can, uh, our easiest places to get our resources, I guess. But this, uh, this land is very, very hilly, like all over the place here. So I think our easiest bet will definitely be water access, things that we can access from, uh, from this side. Plus it lets you like bring the chests and stuff too, which is awesome. So I'm glad we did that little bit of um, exploration by ocean last time. It's gonna make it a lot easier going forward. All right, left my chest over there. Let's grab that, and then, yeah, I think. Well, because this is the end of the this is the end of the river this way. I think. Yeah, where we had like ran into that guy, right? So this doesn't keep going. So I think, yeah, maybe we just have to. Maybe we just have to go back. Um, the other place that I do want to double check is um, basically along the coast more. So instead of being like inland here and then having to you know take this river out to the villages, I was thinking maybe there's a place, I wasn't really looking last time um, specifically for base locations, but maybe there's a place along the coast a little ways down um, that we can settle instead. But I think we have a good option already. Okay, yeah, so we're back out to the village here. Um, the next place that I was thinking 
was over here on this side. So that basically we could like, you know, come down here, build a bridge and we'd be right there. So I want to just hop out. Um, I actually don't really want to build right on the coast, um, but just wanted to hop out here and take a look at what this looks like from up top. So, um, so if we did base here, we would have a good view over our villages. Um, which is kind of nice. We have an ocean view, which is also quite nice. Uh, let's see. This terrain is a bit rougher. So essentially we would, I don't know, either need to terraform everything, which just takes a really long time. Whereas back there, it was just like, we could probably shave off the top layer in a couple spots. We could like build the house in here, but then you don't really have a view of anything. <laughs> so what's the point of being over here? Hmm. Oh, there's a ruined portal there. <laughs> let's uh, let's get distracted for a moment and uh, and go see what's in the chest. Golden carrots, fire charge, golden boots, golden pickaxe, golden sword. Okay, very cool. We actually got a. Did I get? No, it wasn't this. Never mind. Um, this is cool though. The crying obsidian. I mean, this is also a nice area. But there was something about being like backed into the mountains on the other side that I thought was really cool. I like having a nice, pretty backdrop. <laughs> To my builds as well. The ocean is beautiful, but honestly, it's a little bit boring. Um, and this is also a little bit boring, so let's uh, let's just climb up here and take another vantage point. Yeah, like unless we built all the way up here. Because then you can see the village, you can you get a really good like sunset view over the hills. This wouldn't be so bad, but again, well, it's relatively flat, I suppose. <laughs> we would still need to shave a couple of, um, at least this layer off, and then maybe we can build like at that level if we just flattened this whole thing. Get a really cute view, we could like put our cottage right up here. It's just a little bit of a further walk down, but... This actually wasn't too bad of a walk down. There's a pretty good slope going all the way down there and we could build all of our stuff kind of all along here. It is an option. It is an option. All right, let's take a nap for the night and think about it. I'm wondering, can we see the other area from up here? <laughs> we can like decide at both at once. Um, yeah, this was the other area, right? It was just down here. Pros about this one, it's a bit more nestled in, it's a bit flatter, we've got more space, it's got some cool backdrops, like you can see the forest in the background. Pros of this one is we could get a really cool view of our villages, you can actually see our villages from here and now, you know, once we build them up and make them look really good, um, we'll want that even more. There, it is a big nice flat space up here actually, like if we just took down this area, um, and basically like leveled it off to maybe here. This would be enough flat space. Um, I would level it off all the way, all the way over here so that we could build the cottage like right on the corner here and one of our windows we could look out over the village. Um, it's not a bad idea. This is actually a really cool place for a village. I like the islands um, or that it's like sort of an island. They've got some docks going in between. Um, we do see our little cherry blossom biome up there too, which is nice. We're gonna bring a bunch of those trees down here though anyway. Um, we'll have to uh, rein in this situation. There's a lot of animals here. <laughs> we don't necessarily want a bunch of wild animals walking around our property, but you know what? I think this is it. I think this is a way better view. We've got a beautiful view going that way. Even if we build some stuff heading this direction. Ooh, we picked up an egg. Um, I mean, it's a little bit, yeah, even over here, you can kind of, it's a little bit more boring, but you can see the ocean. You can see kind of a forest back there too. And I think it would be cool to actually just build all the way down from there to down there where we'll make a dock. And we could probably turn this ruined portal into an actual portal at some point, um, if we can find ourselves some more obsidian. So 
All right, I think, well, I think I've made a decision. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get your input um, because we want to start on this today, but you know, at least, at least we've made some sort of start. So I need to bring up all those supplies. I guess that's one thing is we're a little bit far from the dock right now, but um, so I'll have to bring that stuff up in a couple of trips. And then before I start building, I also want iron tools because that is going to make this whole process way better. <laughs> so first things first is an iron shovel to kind of flatten out where we want to actually build the cottage. Um, and then we'll figure out kind of smoothing out the path and stuff after that. But I really want to get started on that cottage. All right, there we go. So we've got our iron tools. Let's just put away the leftover iron. <laughs> um, I've got some of my building supplies going here. Actually, I want to turn this... Uh, shoot, if I... S can't remember now. If I were to take one of these... Oh no, okay, we can't blast this anyway. All right, I gotta... I have to look up how to make glass again. I totally forget. Okay, we just can't do it in the blast furnace. That's... Fine. Can I make a smelter? Ah, cobblestone. Okay. That is the one thing that we did not collect. <laughs> of course we didn't. Uh, let's just set this bed up here. Alright, well that'll be easy to find. I'll, uh, I'll get that going right away here. Alright, there we go. Now we got our glass going. <laughs> and I am going to bring back this land a little bit. I'll probably leave that mound in the background there, but um, I'm just gonna make give us a little bit more space to build here. Okay, there we go. I think that'll give us plenty of space for us building our starter home. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. Um, I don't really need, I don't really think we need a huge house by any means. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking kind of a single story cottage style, um, very basic, like I want to keep to kind of what you might actually see in terms of like a cottage or a um, like a single story bungalow, like a small house. So that is kind of the layout that I'm going to go for, but I am planning on using um, specifically some cherry logs. So or some cherry planks. I want it kind of to be pink as the accent. Um, so we'll do kind of stairs and the roof trim and uh, maybe some side trims out of the pink. Um, and then I also want spruce, I think. This looks really good with it. Um, kind of the darker wood. It's not dark wood, but <laughs> this is survival, so we're going to do what we can here. Um, and then also this white terracotta, I think just kind of matches pretty good. So we're going to stick with this and then cobblestone, I think is basically just going to be for maybe like a chimney um, or something like that. Maybe some outside structure. I'm not really sure yet um, about that specifically, but I think this is a pretty good um, base to start with anyway. So I'm going to outline the entire building, I think, in the spruce planks. That'll be kind of the... Um, the footing of the house, which will probably be mostly covered in plants and planters and stuff anyway <laughs> um, after the fact, but uh, I think this will be a good way to kind of lay it out. So sometimes when I, uh, sometimes when I build houses, I do kind of intentionally try to like, I don't know, I think about how big I want the rooms to be and what I want to be in the rooms and everything like that, but I think for now and for this house, I am just going to I'm just gonna say, you know what, we can uh, <laughs> we can keep it a bit more simple and just build a cool shape and see where it goes from there. So basically what I think about when I'm doing these is where do I want my windows to be and what do I want in between my windows? So for this one, I'm thinking I want two regular walls, one, two, three windows, and then again, one, two regular walls before we come back. So this is gonna be kind of a little outcrop of the house, I think, like a little window seat. Maybe we can, you know, put a, I don't know, like a kitchen in there or something. <laughs> or maybe it'll be the living room, who knows. Um, and let's just go back one, two, three, maybe four before we turn the corner. And then this is where I want the entrance to the house to be. So I might lift it up one um, and put some stairs. I'm not really sure yet, um, but I know that I do want um, a cute little chimney in this corner. So I'm gonna do that for sure. Um, I think I'll just bring it out the four by four maybe. I don't know yet, um, but either way, that means I need one, two, three. 
will be the um what are we here for? Maybe that'll be the doorway. And then let's do the same thing. We'll go one, two on that side. Because this will be taken up by the the chimney, so I think that'll be perfect. And then two, and then let's do one more space, and then we'll do another set of three windows. And then we'll do just the corner here, I think, because we're right up to the edge. We might uh, adjust this a little bit once I actually start building in the walls, but at least we can get a good <laughs> a good starter here. Um, so on this side, we're very close to the edge, so I think for the most part we're just going to bring it out. Um, maybe I'll do like a tiny little outcrop here just to make something a little bit more interesting. Uh, but nothing too, uh, nothing too big here. Yeah, actually that's not too bad. And then over here though, I would like a section. Um, so it comes out pretty far as is, but I would like to build something. This section might be a really good part for it because the ground does go up here a bit. I would like an outdoor smelting area here, just a small one. It doesn't have to be anything um, too spectacular. But maybe we can do that here, or we could just make the backyard kind of follow <laughs> follow that a little bit. But I'm just going to follow the ground in a little bit here. It's also not a bad way to do it. Um, I kind of had an idea of what I wanted the front face to look like, but the rest of it, um, I think I'm just going to kind of follow the contour of, uh, of our land here, just to keep it a little bit away from the edge, just to make it kind of interesting. Okay, there we go. There's an outline. That kind of looks like a house, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like we could at least uh, do some exciting stuff with it. So we'll do a roof going this way, and then we can have one outcrop roof going that way, and then one outcrop roof going that way, and I think that'll uh, that'll do it really well. I've done, I've played a lot of The Sims in my life. Um, I don't play so much anymore. I am kind of looking forward in the next few years here for the like Sims, the next version of it to come out, whatever they're going to call it. But um, I always think I like learned very early on that you have to always think very high, hard about like roofs <laughs> when you're thinking about building. Like, which way are your roofs gonna go? Are they actually gonna connect properly? Because um, otherwise, it is just a nightmare. So, like this here, like the fact that this and that is off um, by one is going to make it very hard to build a roof on this thing. I think so. <laughs> At least in uh, you know my non-expert opinion and abilities <laughs> so if i just make this exactly square then we can just have a like a connected roof going all the way from here to here and then we can have these two little um semi-connected roofs coming off the outside which i think will be perfect and then you know we might do another one over the window here and then maybe one over the um furnace area if we do one if we do furnace area over there or something like that um maybe perfect and some cute little areas for storage and everything i think this is gonna be good all right I am going to build up the walls and then I will show you what it looks like um, with kind of the, the walls built up, but you know, not maybe not quite yet decorated. <laughs> All right, so here is the start of the cottage. So you can hopefully get a bit of an idea. It's gonna obviously look a lot better and a lot less plain once we, uh, <laughs> you know, get everything decorated and start to get that kind of, um, you know, the plants up and, and all of that fun stuff. But this is kind of the general, um, look that I think I'm gonna go for. So I decided to put the door on the ground. Um, I thought it just looked a bit better. Um, but I do still kind of like the wooden trim on the bottom. Um, I think like in front of the windows we're gonna do planters anyway, so you're not really gonna see it. I'm probably gonna like stack up maybe some some stuff in the corners and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, we might not really see it anyway, but uh, that is what it's looking like so far. The only thing that I am thinking right now is we've almost gone through our entire stack of terracotta on one wall and we need three more walls. <laughs> so I might need to take a bit of a break and just go back um, and maybe go and get like five stacks um, of white terracotta just to be safe. But I really like how it looks with this. It's very pinkish. Um, I think it looks really good with the cherry wood. And yeah, that's our cherry wood trimmed 
um, building. So I think all of the faces are going to look similar to this. Um, obviously the roofs, the roof needs to be finished. It's not done there yet. Um, but these are kind of the colors I'm going for. I do, the more I look at it, think that the dark wood probably would look better, um, like on the roof and stuff, but you know, we're playing survival, not creative. And that is just, <laughs> that is our option. So, uh, that's what we got. We got a nice chimney here. I'll obviously put like the smoke and stuff coming out the top, uh, a little bit later. But um, yeah, not much done inside yet. <laughs> and then this can come all the way down. And I am thinking um, it's it's a little hard to do a two by two fireplace. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet um, on the interior. But I think maybe interior decorating maybe a whole other episode altogether because <laughs> this is going to take a while. But we'll see how far we get. Um, how far we get today anyway. So I am just going to basically finish this off and um, I think I'm going to kind of speed through that for you guys because I don't think there's really a, I don't know, you can let me know what you like for future ones. Obviously I'll have to just make a decision for this video, but um, I've played a lot of games before um, on my other channel where like I can do speed builds where you just kind of like, you know, speed it up and still watch the building process. But I don't know that that really works so well for Minecraft. Um, but if you do like to see that kind of stuff, just let me know and I can include it in the next ones. Um, but I am going to include a long play video of building this. So if you like to watch those, um, it will be on the channel as well. Uh, so you can kind of see it step by step there without any commentary. Um, I know some people like that, but probably not the same people who watch Let's Plays. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to, yeah, we'll take a sleep for this night. Um, I will unpack all my stuff and I'm gonna just go to the mesa, get a few more stacks of terracotta and come back. I don't think there's gonna be anything too exciting happening during that time. Um, so hopefully if nothing goes wrong and no zombies attack us and no creeper blows up our house, the next time you'll be seeing this, it will be built and then we'll decorate. All right, so here is the base of our little starter cottage. Um, I quite like how it turned out. I think it's kind of cute. I love the pink um, color of the cherry wood. I think it's such a good color. Uh, they did a really good job. It looks a little bright in this, um, this game. I was actually thinking I might need to turn my brightness down in general. Um, let me know what you guys think, but I, yeah, it seems like a lot of stuff like the sand and some of this stuff just looks a little too bright. <laughs> so I might need to play with my settings a little bit with that, but either way, um, this is what it looks like. So let's do a quick uh, walk around. I've got a little covered area over here. I'm thinking um, I'm gonna keep this as kind of like a, a little smelting area. Uh, maybe I'll put a hole in the, in the ceiling to make it a little bit more realistic. Although, I don't know if it really needs that. <laughs> but either way, a little area we can put the smelter um, and a little bit of storage back there. We'll obviously have a bigger like smelting situation going on in our mine when we make one, but uh, it'll be good to have a little area for now as well. Um, this is the back door or I mean, maybe front door from this way. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, I want to do, I'm thinking maybe I'll probably just put some bushes on this side um, rather than the actual planters but I think probably shutters up there too for that window just to, you know, fill it out a little bit more. Maybe even on these, this side for these windows too. I don't know yet. We'll have to, um, we'll have to play around with that a little bit while we're decorating. Um, this side of the building, I'm thinking I'll probably just fill it with plants. Um, I don't think this is a very good place to keep stuff, so, um, that's fine as is. Uh, this side as well, we're not really a side you're going to be able to see much unless you're, you know, looking from over on that mountain there. Uh, so I'll just decorate it with a couple of plants and maybe move some of the vines over as well. And then we kind of scoot around here. We've got a little bit of space here. Maybe I'll do some barrels or something for some extra storage. But again, that's kind of around the side you probably wouldn't even walk along. <laughs> and of course, the front of the house, which is, you know, the, the focus, the focal point really. <laughs> Um, I've got these planters set up, ready to go. I gotta put the flowers in there. Um, I also started growing some vines while I was building. They're getting a little bit overgrown, um, but that's okay. We want this to be a very like woodsy cottage kind of look. I got the big fireplace going on up there. Um, I've got these little windowsills. I was thinking I could probably do potted plants up there. I think, I'm pretty sure you can put them on stairs. I don't think that's a problem. So I might play around with that a little bit as well. I just need to get some clay for some pots. And yeah, I don't know about over here, maybe again, like just some barrels or some bushes. Um, and I think I do want to fence this place off as well. Um, 
yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know yet. Maybe we'll do a fence in front, maybe not. Uh, we might just leave it open and uh, put some plants and like a cute path coming up this way. Uh, but let's take a look inside, just not that I did the inside, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. So we can start kind of gathering some ideas. Um, if you have any ideas for the interior, let me know because we'll do that uh, maybe next time or maybe in a little bit, uh, a little bit later in the game, just because, you know, we don't want to spend all our time building. <laughs> but so it looks like I got this cute little fireplace. I think this uh, this is looking pretty decent. You can kind of see um, kind of see the flames a little bit there. I like the cobblestone raw look um, just because that's also the outside, that back wall. So it kind of fits a little bit <laughs> better than trying to make this out of brick. But um, yeah, I think that turns out quite cute. And you can kind of see the fireplace from a couple different angles as well if we wanted to make, you know, this like little bedroom area and then, you know, living room or whatever. I'm not going to do too, um, like gimmicky with the inside. I think I want to have some practical options. So like, I want to probably have a kitchen just, you know, to keep food and to, um, and to do the cooking as well, uh, just cause that makes sense. And then you know, obviously we want a place for a bed. I'm thinking over here just cause this is the perfect width. <laughs> One bed in the middle and then you've got proper amount of sides. You can actually put it straight in the middle, which is nice. Um, and plus we can kind of like watch the sunset behind us as we go to sleep, which is always fun. Um, and then, yeah, like maybe just like kind of some living space over here. And then, you know, probably just some sort of storage situation going on in here. This is obviously not gonna be our main storage room. Um, we'll probably do, I don't know, maybe we'll like build a basement in here for like main storage, but I also like to do like mining storage at the mine. So it'll kind of depend on how much stuff we get. Like mining storage would be at the mine, farming storage would be at the farm. So, you know, it, it just depends on what kind of extra stuff we have. We might only need, you know, a few chests and we can just kind of, or barrels even, I think barrels look better. Um, we can always like just kind of line the ceiling with some barrels in here and that might work good enough. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any cool ideas, um, or any suggestions or anything like that for the interior for next time. But, uh, let me go to sleep quick before, before we spawn anything out here we don't want. All right. So to decorate the last bit of the outside here, um, I think the main things that I need are the clay for the pots. Um, I do want to put a couple of pots out here. I also need lanterns, which for a lantern, I do believe we need iron. Let me just double check. Yeah, we need iron nuggets for lanterns. So a couple options there. We could try to find that shipwreck again. I think I remember where it was. It had a lot of iron nuggets, um, enough for probably a couple of lanterns, or I can just go start digging underground and hope for some iron. <laughs> um, also, maybe I just be patient and we can, you know, continue decorating the house as we get some more stuff. I do think the next thing that we'll want to do is the mine because before I build anything else, really, I think I'd like to have a better like steady supply of um, uh, iron tools because <laughs> we used up those iron tools very quickly, um, getting all the supplies and building this up. So yeah, not the, not the best, but let's grab a few flowers anyway and start to put them in there. So I'm thinking we got all of these cute, like tall ones. I think those will go really good. Um, these white and pink tulips as well. I think petals obviously are gonna go on the ground. Um, and I think the roses I'm gonna save for another build uh, later on, just because I don't think those fit super well here. Um, but yeah, there we go. We can do something like that. And then maybe just like cute white tulip over there, just a little bit. Um, yeah, it'd be cool if these were maybe filled out a little bit more, but it is what it is. Let's put a couple of roses there and then maybe tulip like that. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I really want the azalea bushes is what I want. I think some of that would look really good in here too. There we go. I think that looks a little better. Um, all right, let's also do, maybe I should think about the path as well. So we have our thing here. I was thinking about doing that sort of like path where you mix, um, like 
this kind of ground with mossy cobble as well in there. I think that would make a good uh, a good pathway for for this place. Then we can do something like cobble there, cobble there, cobble, 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 <laughs> gobble, gobble, <laughs> something like that. And then let's just put the, oh, do we even have any mossy cobble left? Maybe I uh, got ahead of myself here. Let's see. Oh no, we've got lots. Okay, perfect. Let's fill that in. And maybe we could even get some of that other kind of that like coarse dirt from um, from the taiga biome as well. That could look good here too, but for the most part, this looks okay. Um, what I would like to do is some bone meal and just put some regular flowers out here as well, but I think for now, I'm gonna just kind of plant some of these ones just because they fit quite well. And then obviously we're gonna do, um, we're going to do, sorry. <laughs> Apparently I can't speak and do some at the same time. Uh, I'm also gonna plant some cherry trees. So in terms of like right in front of the house, I'm thinking maybe we just plant one right here um, and that'll be a nice view out that window, even though this is kind of our, oh yeah, that's our sunset window. That'll be a good view out that window. Um, and then other than that, we will kind of like more surround the property with them um, than having them too close to the house. But I think that'd be perfect. Let's just put another flower there. Take a look. Yeah, okay, that's looking good. I think those uh, those little flowers around here, like the ones on the ground will be perfect. Let's see, there we go, the pink petals. And then we can go and brave some skeletons. I don't think we had any skeletons yet, did we? Uh, but these ones, I know you can bone meal them and then they'll really kind of fill in properly, which is nice. Maybe we'll put one there and one up here too, just to have those filled in. Ooh, this is gonna look good. We just need some bone meal to grow this, uh, make this a little more overgrown. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to do something similar on the other sides. And then, yeah, so the only other things I need would be the clay for the clay pots, um, the lanterns, but maybe we'll wait for those, and the bone meal as well. We'll do that today, but um, I'll do that after I get everything set up here. Shoot. Oh no. Okay, I did not I did not see that coming. Alright. <laughs> oh, where's my shield? Okay. Okay, okay, we got this. Aha! Alright, is it just one of you? Oh, okay. I have no idea where that guy came from, but uh <laughs> let's uh let's just Okay, you know what? Didn't happen. It's all good. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, I guess this is a good time to take a look at what's going on here. So basically I just am trying to get some bushes kind of down. I don't know, make it look a little bit more overgrown here. Uh, the oak leaves look pretty good. They, they blend into the grass well, which is nice. Just do something like that. Yeah, okay. You know what, really, we're just doing our best over here. Uh, let's put one up the wall here. Ooh, flowers. Nice, I like how these ones give some flowers every once in a while. Um, I think that's part of the Better Leaves uh, pack that I have going on here, but... Okay, we'll do something like that. A cute little bush in the corner. Um, what else could we do? I think an azalea bush would look really cute there, but um, we don't have that right now, so... We do that. Oh no, that's way too... Uh, Way too bushy is the problem there. Uh, but that's all good. Definitely use some in this corner though. Something like that. We'll obviously move the bed out of the way. Okay. I'm excited to see what it looks like when that tree grows up a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll do one here as well. Those are cute. Those are the uh, cherry wood doors or trap doors. 
Uh, I really like those. Those would actually make really cute windows in general. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna think about that for a minute. But look at the one we planted back here. It came with a beehive. That is so perfect. I love that. Oh, I love that. I, I used to use the, um, well, I, I do, I suppose I should say, use the oak trapdoors a lot for like just in place of glass for windows. Um, but those are really cute. Those would make really cute small windows. Um, I'm going to take a look at those little ones that I made at the front um, and maybe replace those with just these trap doors because I really like that. Um, but anyway, um, there we go. So there's a side. We've got our tree. I need to obviously bone meal the ground like we were talking about, but we'll definitely do that. Um, I need to fill this in with cobbles, the regular cobblestone, uh, just to make it. This is going to be our smelting area I'd mentioned already. Um, do I have any torches actually? I'm going to torch up the walls here just in the meantime until we have some um until we have some actual lanterns oh we got some rain very nice all right gotta push over here a few more flowers we need to bone meal around as well um, the front looks the same that tree has not grown yet <laughs> but i'm sure it will um, i'm just gonna put a torch there too just to cover our bases in the meantime but yeah those windows up there i bet you those would look really good as just those trap doors mm. That's an interesting thought. Um, what else? There's nothing around this corner. Oh yeah, this side. I don't know exactly how I want to do this side. I guess I'll put some of those trap doors on here too. Um, just to decorate it a little bit. I mean, maybe maybe I'll even do a planter here just so that you can see some, some flowers through the window. Um, but this is kind of an awkward like side that we're never actually going to look at. <laughs> but I guess it would be nice to have some flowers outside the window. Um, and this one too. That one might be cute as a, as a shutter window instead of an actual window. But yeah, look at that. Okay, this is awesome. Um, I'm really liking how this is turning out. So next order of business um, is going to be to go out, get some bone meal so that we can grow this uh, grow this place out all nice. Um, make a couple more shutters just to finish off the windows. Maybe I'll even add one right above the door there. Um, and then... Yeah, I think that should pretty much cover it. The outside of our house is just about done. All right, it is obviously nighttime now. Um, I am going to get away from here so that no creepers spawn. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure either this is night or it's a very bad thunderstorm either way. I think things are gonna start spawning. So I'm going to get, yeah, there they are, okay. I'm gonna get the hell out of there so that nothing spawns on my house and then it is time for some skeleton hunting. Let's uh, try really hard not to die here. <laughs> I see the creeper. Alright, I can't really tell... I guess maybe it's daytime now? <laughs> it's gotten a lot brighter. Um, I don't know, I, I don't think they're still spawning. So we'll keep an eye out as we're walking back. But uh, I think we have enough... Ooh, that's lot, lot, ooh, lots of iron down there. Interesting, okay. <laughs> we're not going down there right now. Um, I did find uh, two iron, I think, in, the, in a little cave down there that I had to get some stone from, but... Um, little bit, little by little, we will add to our stash. So yeah, we got 12 bones. So bone meal, I don't remember the ratio exactly. Is it something that we can make just on our own? Okay, three to, yeah, okay, so we've got plenty. I think that's enough to overgrow the area around our place, no problem. Um, might not be absolutely perfect, but I think that's gonna be more than enough. Oh, look at our house up on the hill there. <laughs> oh, it looks so good, okay. I'm excited. All right, we are back. Our tree is still not grown. I wonder if it's because there's a... No, there's nothing around it. That should be fine. Um, all right, let's get ourselves some bone meal. We're just gonna turn it all into bone meal. <laughs> and then we are going to... Oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that. It's not... Uh... I don't want it to be crazy, you know? I, I like our pink flowers. I just wanted to do these guys a little bit. 
Okay, well, that didn't go as far as I was hoping. These guys need to be clicked a lot of times <laughs> in order to uh, to expand, but that's okay. Um, we still got beehive. I think this is still looking pretty good. Um, I'll probably, I might curate the grass a little bit, like I'll chop. Um, the bees are out. Nice. Okay, here we go. We've got our, uh, like, I think I'm going to take grass from over here and um, spread it out a little bit on our property because um, I think that's going to be a better way to do it than just using the bone meal everywhere. Just because I don't really want the multicolor flowers. <laughs> I know they're nice, but, you know, we, we want this to be a cute little pink oasis of sorts. There, see something like that. We've got the flowers, we've got the um, got the grass. We'll just throw some tulips down randomly here. And we'll get more bone meal as we go along. I'm not gonna bother for now um, doing any actual, <laughs> doing any more skeleton specific hunting, but good to know. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh gosh. All right, maybe we are gonna do some more skeleton hunting. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna lure it over here just in case. Oh, look, they're fighting. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, okay, there we go. Success. And look at that, three more... Ooh, we got a bow and everything. Um, a few more bone meal. <laughs> we can do some of the flowers on this side too. Beautiful, okay. Yeah, I think the last... Oh, oh, I accidentally stripped it. Oh no, that looks so dumb. <laughs> oh, dang it, I did not mean to do that at all. Okay, well, I'll just hide it. There we go. That's better, right? <laughs> Hello, bee. Aw. <laughs> I love the bees in this, this game. They're so great. I'm glad we got one uh, without having to work too hard for it um, in the back there. All right, let's fill this in. And I'll kind of move the stuff over here, I think, off camera. Um, that'll just, I'll just take my time and move our smelting stuff that we have already built over here, and that should be good enough. Yeah, look at that. Okay, perfect. Uh, we got a bunch of tulips. It'd also be cool, I think, if flowers automatically spread by themselves, but it's all good. We can we can plant as many as we need. So yeah, so really the last things that we're kind of missing here for this build are, I guess, the lanterns, because um, I would like to light up the outside and the inside um, with lanterns rather than torches. And then the maybe clay pots, so we can put a couple flowers in some pots, but for the most part, I think this is our build. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Um, we might do those other, I think maybe probably next episode we'll do the mine. Um, I want to do a mine and a farm, obviously. Um, I think the mine first, just because that'll give us all the resources we need in order to actually build something cool for the farm. Um, I am going to leave this kind of mess of trees for right now. Um, eventually I'm going to chop down all of these and basically just... Um, what I want to do is kind of make it more foresty around our cabin. So I'll plant some of those trees, probably just some oak trees as well, the cherry trees and the oak trees, um, just to kind of enclose it a little bit more. Uh, this whole area maybe we'll probably make into uh, some kind of cute, cute little cherry forest <laughs> with lots of pink flowers and, and everything else. So that'll be super fun. But yeah, I think that is about it. So as the sun is setting here real quick, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, if you have any questions, suggestions, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. I love reading your comments. I'll reply, answer your questions, all of that. No problem. Um, I read every single one and I will talk to you in the next one.